Hey guys, we're here doing car audio Q&A. Today's question, uh, let's see, is from YouTube. Hey, I love my brand new Pioneer DEHX 6600 BT I bought from you guys. I've had it over a week now. I take the faceplate off and carry it with him everywhere he goes. And um, today I tried listening to some music, USB, Bluetooth radio, aux, but no sound. I hear my speakers make a noise when I turn the radio on. Uh, to try to play music, but there's no sound. All fuses check out fine. What could the problem be? So there could be quite a few problems, but what I would probably suggest doing is leave your faceplate on. You don't need to take it anywhere. No one's really gonna probably steal it anyway. And if they do, they're still gonna break it and take the radio anyway. But besides that, um, I would definitely pull the radio out. If you have a multimeter, I would definitely check Obviously it sounds like you have power. I don't know if you have any additional amplifiers or a factory amplifier. Going to make sure that your factory amplifier, if you do have one still receiving a uh, remote, remote turn on, otherwise you won't get any audio. Um, another thing it could definitely be is a blown speaker um, or a shorted speaker wire. And with a multimeter, you can actually check the impedance of all your speakers and check for shorts to ground. So I have seen that before where if you have a short to ground, obviously the radio is essentially gonna go into protection just like an amplifier would. So unfortunately on a radio, you typically don't see a red light that lights up indicating that you're in protection. On, a, on an aftermarket radio or a factory radio, you might hear a subtle pop um, or um, you won't get any sound. So is Brennan doing something weird in the background? Is Brennan doing something? No? No? Anyway, those are a few things you can check. Always invest in a multimeter. You can pick them up anywhere for five to 20 bucks. Obviously I'd suggest a decent one, but that will give you the ability to check for power, check voltage, check your impedance of your speakers, checks for shorts to ground. It's rare that we see an actual Pioneer deck actually truly fail. Any of your name brands like Pioneer, Alpine, you know, Sony, Kenwood, etc., uh, they're built really well. Uh, but they also do have protection circuitry built in to prevent you from damaging the radio. So there's a few things you can check. Obviously with this question, like I said earlier, I don't know if you have amplifiers and what kind of system the radio is in. Uh, but even if you do have an aftermarket amplifier, uh, you still can do the same kind of methods where you're going to check power at your amplifier. You're going to check to make sure it has remote turn on. You're going to check the impedance of the speakers and you're still going to check to see if you have any shorts to ground. Hopefully that helps you out. Q&A, I'm Alan, see you next time.